Short hair is one of my favorite accessories. It's a great way to express yourself and your creativity through a different way. Not only is having colored hair really, really fun, but it's also really expensive and has a lot of upkeep. So today I'm gonna show you guys how I touch up my color. So my color is a little bit faded. I would like it to be a little more vibrant. My hair is naturally brown, so I have to go get it bleached by a professional. But not only is that damaging, but it's so expensive and it's a really, really long process that I just don't have the time to sit through every single month. So in between bleach sessions, I save a little bit of time and money by just going darker towards the roots. So the first thing that I do is I hop in the shower and make sure to shampoo my hair and get rid of any oils that may be there. So once you're done washing your hair, just hop out of the shower and towel will dry your hair. And there's a few things that you're going to need when you dye your hair. I used to use dark towels, but that seemed to be just a humongous mess. So I would really recommend getting some sort of hair cutting cloth. I will put a link in the description where I bought mine. The next thing I suggest getting is some latex gloves. You're going to be getting the dye on your hands, so I would highly recommend this so you don't end up with purple hands. Next, you're gonna need an application brush and a bowl to mix your dye into. So I normally don't use the dye straight out of the tube. I dilute it a little bit with some conditioner. The most important part about this step is it has to be silicone free. If it isn't silicone free, the silicone will then seal your hair, not allowing the dye to penetrate it correctly. I also have a mirror handy so I can see the back of my head. And for the colors, I have been using Pravana throughout my hair color adventures. I am absolutely in love with these dyes. They're for professional use only, but you can purchase them on eBay. So I use blue and violet. So I cut up some foil pieces. This part is optional if you're only doing one color for your hair, but since I'm adding a strand of blue, I wanna keep that separate from the purple. So the first thing that I do is I separate a portion of my hair, and this is what's gonna be dyed the color blue. So it doesn't have to be completely perfectly straight since this is gonna be underneath the hair and no one's really gonna notice that. So once I have the little section sectioned off, I tie up the rest of my hair and I grab my foil. Then I just put in the pure blue color. I put in the pure blue dye because I really love this Pravana blue. It's so vibrant and beautiful. It reminds me of a deep blue ocean. So I go ahead, paint this all over my strand, fold up the foil, and this is going to keep it separate from the purple dye. So I've added about 50-50 conditioner and purple dye into my little jar right here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and paint it on. Um, try to be careful to not get it directly on your scalp, but I will tell you guys this way doing it at home is definitely a lot more messier. Um, I do end up with a bit of purple on my face, but it just comes with the territory. You're gonna get better at doing this, and this is probably my, I wanna say 10th time maybe doing this. I'm still not perfect at it. So then, um, you wanna make sure to cover your whole hair. So what I do is I do it in parts. So I will paint on the top, make sure, make sure to get the underside of the hair. And I always start off uh, with the hair towards the scalp. I save the ends for last because this is going to be a darker color. So I want the roots to be darker. So I make sure to completely saturate my hair with the dark purple color. Then I just went ahead and added more conditioner to the dye. The reason why I really love this dye is because a little bit goes a long way. This is still going to be really, really vibrant and I've added a lot of conditioner to this. So I'm making sure to saturate my whole hair. I use my hands. I I will sometimes get my hair and rub it between my two hands so that I make sure that it gets every single strand of hair. So once your hair is completely covered, remember to check the back with a mirror. This is very important because sometimes you'll miss some stuff. So go ahead and clip up your hair. I wait for like 15 minutes. Once that's done, I go ahead, hop in the shower and rinse out my hair and watch the beautiful colors go down the drain and stain your perfectly white tub purple. It's like you murdered a unicorn in your bathtub and that's just something that you deal with when you have colored hair. 
No, seriously, it gets everywhere. So I don't shampoo after the first wash. I just rinse it and make sure the water runs clean and make sure to wear a dark colored shirt to sleep that night because some of the dye may come off. So that is it. That is how I touch up my color. I hope this is a little bit helpful for those of you guys who are wondering how I keep my hair so vibrant. Again, if you guys are thinking of dyeing your hair, uh, if you have dark colored hair, you should definitely go to a professional and get it bleached because you don't want to end up bald. Remember, if you do mess up, it will wash out, so it's nothing too permanent. But I wish you guys luck and remember to have fun.